neutral B. You yeah. have L fire, which goes uh, it, it horizontal, thunder, diagonal is not, down. Is it not L thunder? Uh, no, it goes thunder, L thunder, arc thunder, and then Thoron, depending on the charge. Oh, uh, okay, I see. Yeah, there's four levels of That's charge. That's really cool. Yeah. Uh, actually, my favorite one is arc thunder, the third one, which is an orb of thunder that comes out right in front of Robin's hands, and then like uh, an X of electricity just like pulsates for a couple seconds and it's a multi-hit move it locks them in place and you can follow up with smash attacks yeah, or roughly. anything you want really definitely looks like a very interesting character a again another character i'll be keeping an eye on as far as little mac i feel like anybody out there watching the stream that's a big little mac fan i don't recommend picking him as a main because if you pick him as a main there's just going to be some people you're going to beat and yes. some people you're not going to beat but if you like little mac i encourage you to play him i encourage you to learn him i encourage you to learn him well because he's one of those characters uh, I'm going to compare him to like maybe King D to D in Brawl, where it's like King D to D just gets straight up wrecked by certain characters. Like if you're D to D, you don't want to fight Falcos, you don't want to fight Olimars, but you're really happy when you go up against like Lucario's Snake or, or Snake. Yeah, 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 like you just pull out the pocket D to D and it's like, yeah. And Rob, <laughs> Rob, yeah. Oh, terribly <laughs> hard counter by <laughs> exactly. D to D. Oh, man. So, th you know, that's really what uh, that's really what Little Mac reminds me of, like the King D to D just like, okay, if, if I'm king of the ground game and I can just... King DDD did it sh by shutting down all your approaches. Little Mac does it by rushing you down, which is arguably a lot more fun. It um, is, for sure. <laughs> and there, there seems to be a lot more of a focus on that in this game. They Absolutely. give characters viable approach tools. Even though there's a little bit of landing lag on a lot of moves, there's also improved shield stun, and it just seems like grabs in general are a little bit shorter range. Right. So the mindless shield grab anti-approach does not work as well as it used to. Absolutely. And plus, we're saying that before a character, before everybody is really comfortable on other characters, once these players begin spacing even better, then the shield will become even weaker because definitely we're not seeing perfect spacing coming out from the players at this not moment. Not yet, yeah. Yeah, but and once everybody starts spacing extremely well, the shield becomes that much weaker of a tool because spacing on your opponent's block is the way to start pressure. And now here we have Chibo trying to get some pressure of his own started. Oh, Eli with that Donkey Kong missing the up B right in Chibo's robot's face. Uh, so a little bit of background on the players for those of you guys first time watchers of CT. This is the man behind it all, Chibo playing Rob, aka Robot in Japanese. And we have Eli from Long Island. Long time player, kind of flew under the radar and Brawl wasn't terribly active uh, toward the later stages of it, but he's recently made a strong reappearance in the scene with his Captain Falcon in Project M. He's very, very good. And now these guys going up in the new game, which is not exactly a blend of the two, uh, Melee and Brawl, but somewhat of nostalgic uh, revivals of all the new, or of all the old games, plus yeah. its own new little it flavor. It definitely has its own flavor, yeah. and I'm really excited for it. I feel like they brought back the best parts of each game. Yeah, I agree. I mean, uh, I miss Dash Dancing. I sure. definitely miss Dash Dancing, but it's only seemingly impossible because we're on the 3DS. In the Wii U version, you can Dash Dance to the same degree as Brawl. So okay. it, That's there not is so bad. a Dash Dance in the game. It's maybe a little bit less of a window, but uh, for those of you guys who aren't very familiar with Brawl, Dash Dancing is still a very, very useful option. Yeah, absolutely. The reason, the reason that Dash Dancing never got really popular in Brawl was because of the terrible idea of tripping. Yes. Uh, but that's been removed, God bless. And <laughs> now we can uh, maybe see this, this technique reemerge. And Chibo using that side B on DK's shield, that move has undergone some serious improvements. It's actually a KO move now, and wow, a lot of hits done after that forward air into the ground, but not enough to get a true follow-up there. Yeah, he's just knocked way too far away, but you can definitely imagine that at lower percents, uh, it could have some palpable combo options. Donkey Rob Kong's up tilt, also a very powerful kill move, almost killing Rob, uh, who's a quite heavy character. And one of the things that kind oh, of... Uh, kind of read is unfortunate about this game is how long people live, uh, how long it takes to KO characters, but I feel like it's going to be mitigated by the sheer amount of combos in this game and also that you can't just air dodge into the ground to avoid follow-ups anymore, so you know, you're know you definitely going to be in the way of strong moves a lot more often that it kind of offsets, wow, the up tilt from TK not killing at 170? Now, Maybe thing, there's a sweet spot. One thing I want to point out is uh, I've seen this happen a number of times. Ooh. That had her. Can't re-grab the it. edge and get invincibility. <laughs> That's it right there. Yeah, your invincibility will be gone. Sakurai took great strides to making sure that ledge, uh, that degenerative ledge gameplay would be uh, removed as much as possible. And this time he's a lot more thorough, not just I can't up beat to the ledge five times in a row. Right. <laughs> <laughs> that was uh, a pretty unfair balance, if you ask me. Yeah. But so as I was uh, as I was about to mention before, one thing I want to point out is something we've seen before is. Uh, Chivo is capitalizing off of these reads where um, he'll dash up to his opponent and then he'll anticipate a dash grab 
uh, so they'll spot dodge and he'll capitalize off that spot dodge. If you feel, if you're hard reading that your opponent's gonna come up and grab at you, your best option is actually to just to grab them first because most characters' stand and grab range will beat out your opponent's dash grab range. So you always wanna remember, if you think your opponent's gonna dash at you in an attempt for a dash grab, go for a, just a standing grab from your shield and it will counter their dash grab attempt on your shield because you'll grab them first with more range. Uh, this is a lot, if, Again, it's best if you're reading a grab because if they end up, you know, doing something like a fair, then you know your standing grab is just going to lose to that fair. But if they end up going for the dash grab, then you're going to win. Definitely, you don't want to take spot dodge if that's your read, just because, just because spot dodge in that case is going to be an in something that can be heavily punished. You know, if they don't go for the dash grab and they actually get a read on your spot dodge, you allow yourself to die, just like how DK died to that up smash. And Rob, a very improved character in Super Smash Bros. for Wii U and 3DS. He was kind of middle of the road in Brawl for a while, struggled in a couple matchups, most particularly the characters that could either just chain grab or juggle him to death, but uh, it seems like he has a new array of KO moves. He has very, very strong neutral game and just normals in general. His back air, forward air, and wow, that was a charge angle up forward smash, I believe, almost going with the snipe. This looks like a difficult matchup for Donkey Kong. He's such a wide frame character, he has to really struggle to avoid the gyro right there, the gyro might, the laser. And then once Chibo, or Rob, gets his hands on DK, he's able to combo that huge frame very easily. Wow, grounded up B. Almost yeah, like I was about to say, him. I don't know if I'd necessarily say that. I would say that Donkey Kong has decent options against the gyro. Um, I don't know if it still disappears when you run up and block it like it did in Brawl. Um, I haven't seen yet. And we also have that up B which goes through the gyro pretty solidly. Additionally, once Donkey Kong is uh one has Robin a in a disadvantageous position, meaning once Donkey Kong's gotten control of the flow of the match, he really has a big advantage in that his aerials are he's one of the few characters that gets strong uh has an advantage in his aerial range and reach and power from Rob. You know, DK's back air is gonna beat out pretty much anything Rob can do in the air and DK's tilts outrange even Rob's tilts so and he has a powerful ground game with that down B and so a lot of those resources I didn't see using that match I'm really hesitant to say Rob has the advantage but you know big ups on Chibo for outplaying his opponent that match yeah that was definitely a solid play from a character that I don't think anyone was really itching to try right off the bat yeah but Chibo very loyal Rob main one of the best Robs out there in for Brawl. sure for sure Especially in doubles, God, kid's great. Yeah, and hopefully he'll be able to continue that reign as we move into this new Smash game. Practicing against Sandbag. Not sure if... Okay, it looks like Eli is switching to another uh, robot-esque character, Mega Man, our favorite cyborg yeah. from Capcom. The Capcom Cyborg, that's his new name. Screw the Blue Bomber. Alright, so one thing I have to say about Mega Man is like a lot of people have found him very unimpressive. Uh, you know, he, we saw a lot of great utility way back when the stage was still in the demo, but then we didn't really see uh, great applications for this utility. Yep. So I don't think anyone has really cracked this character open to the degree that he deserves to be, and we'll see if Eli might be the first. Playing a very zone-heavy game, I like the use of Metal Blade uh, arced into the ground so it becomes a pickupable item. Yeah. And ooh, his no recovery doubt, looks man. very strong, Mega Man's. Which I don't believe he sweet spots the edge, which is kind of yeah, really, a little really bit questionable. Bad. Yeah, a little bit questionable. But it looks like he recovers quickly, uh, which is very good. That dash attack definitely one of my favorite moves from this game. Was that a glide toss? Or I'm not sure. It, it might have been just a dash. It, it might. Yeah, I don't think so. Yeah. One thing that we definitely have to keep an eye on is like his Meta Knight. I mean, excuse me, not Meta Knight. Mega Man's. Um, Mega Man's follow-up game, because what I see is, since he has such a projectile-based game, people are used to hitting their opponents, and I'm seeing even him cause knockdowns, but not really going for proper resets. Uh, it's really important that once you get an advantageous uh, position on your <coughs> on your opponent, you really have to make sure to capitalize and take that advantage pressure ad advantageous pressure you've gained from that position and follow up and capitalize. Words are hard, guys. <laughs> yes, they're very difficult, and so is Ooh. recovery. Oh, Meteor Cancel! Beautiful job by yeah. Eli at 130%, still surviving. And, okay, I think actually he does sweet spot the edge. You just have to be pretty close to it horizontally. That's good for Mega Man. That would have been a pretty harsh uh, detriment to deal with. Wow, nice wall great jump to wall back jump back here. yes. Picking creative options to get back on the stage. Mega Man doesn't have such a large range on his normal attacks, so he has to improvise as much as possible in order to pull off these safe recoveries. Well, I would say he does have a really large range considering most of his normal attacks. I mean, many of his normal attacks are projectiles, something very unprecedented from Smash games. We didn't really see 
characters with projectile normal attacks before. Almost all the normal attacks were reserved for special moves. So again, we're seeing different types of gameplay. Um, well, Mega Man, you know, mostly the jab, neutral air, and forward tilt of his normals are projectiles. And of course, right. forward smash, but... You know, if you look at those claws and even that flare sword, it's just not very long range. You know, he has to struggle to get in on zone based characters like Rob, who do still have long limbs. Rob, very much like the Dalsim of this game for any Street Fighter yeah, fans absolutely. out there. Oh, and wow. the mega upper, that up tilt. Yeah. So that's really good to sure you can. Uh, a move given to him from Capcom in Mega Man 2, I believe. Uh, no, Marvel vs. Capcom, actually. That's where that's from. Uh, at least according to Sakurai's daily updates, it's uh, oh, okay. it debuted in Marvel. But, I mean, that's neither here nor there right yeah. now. Oh, yes, it looks like walking up and blocking against the gyro does destroy it. And, oh, a little jab there, just pegging on some damage. Oh, yeah, playing. it has virtually no hit stun. Now, Leaf Shield seems really good because it seems like it's going to be that... So just that tool that really punishes your opponent trying to approach you. Uh, it puts them just in... Uh, just in enough hit stun that I'm wondering if it can combo into a mega uppercut if you're aware that your opponent is going to crash into your leaf shield, you know, especially that being um, an up smash, correct? Mega upper is up tilt. Up tilt, okay, yeah. so no, that means he won't be able to execute right. it from can't shield. can't dash into it. Or, uh, or, or, a or shield. from yeah, shield, okay. yeah, or from dash, exactly. Yeah, but leaf shield seems to be a strong defensive tool. You don't really want to go around throwing it at opponents and expecting to get uh, massive reward off of it. But as you see, it's active even when Mega Man is blocking, and also it has even enough stun moving. that you can grab your opponent out of it. So. Oh, I see. So it's good for setting up frame traps. Of course, right now I'm just getting a lot of mixed messages from Mega Man. He has some interesting traps, but he doesn't really have great ways or rewarding ways to approach. He tries to somewhat camp, but his camp game is uh, not really good at. F he's not really good at following up his camp game. Of course, I do see room for this to be developed. So it's something that I will have to investigate a lot more. One very fun tool that Mega Man has is that dash attack with multiple hits. It's great at catching landings and getting in when your opponent is trying to play that keep away game. But also, Rob just looks like he can poke at it with his limbs from a safe distance and not really have to worry too much. Also, the crash bomb is like Snake C4. It passes on to Mega Man if the it, opponent it makes made contact, contact yeah. Chibo right now with a very solid lead of over one stock. Oh, some clash tournaments right there yeah. with Rob's side B in the Leaf Shield. It looks like it's going to be really important for Mega Man's grab game to get developed. Uh, because when it comes to his close range options, he doesn't really have the same ra uh, array of moves such as the tilts that, or the jab that many other characters have since he has very projectile based game uh, with some of his normal attacks. So relying a lot on that grab in these neutral options is really important, especially since a lot of his moves don't seem very safe on block. Oh, and that very side strong. B, it is indeed a KO move now. Yeah. Went from zero to hero pretty Absolutely. much that game, or that match. I mean, uh, the move. Yes, again, words are hard, guys. Yeah, and it looks like Chibo's taken out his rage that he built up, blocking all those cans and, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, swag-tastic uh, cowboys and... Yeah, <laughs> and Duck, I didn't shooters. actually get to see all of that match, oh, you, you, but Duck dude, Hunt, the man, Duck Hunt what match a good insane. character. Yeah. What a Absolutely. great character. Yeah, it was ridiculous, the Duck Hunt game. Yep, yeah, and I think we're uh, actually about to go into round four.